What's going on, everybody? I appreciate those of you that were hanging out, waiting for the stream to start. For those of you watching replay, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on all notifications. So we do live streams like this, you can take part in the chat. So appreciate those of you coming check me out uh, a little earlier than I typically stream. Today, because uh, my wife's going out of town with my father-in-law to go see her grandmother for Mother's Day this weekend, change of plans for the weekend. Uh, it's going to be raining the next several days, and we wanted to go on a hike. So we went on a hike today, because starting tomorrow, it's raining the rest of the week. So uh, instead of going train, normally I'd be at the gym right now. We went on a hike this morning. So, uh, so I freed up a little bit earlier than usual today, so I figured I'd jump on and Talk to you guys about these Tommy Bahama scents that I've had come in recently. I finally completed the Maritime set with the original. And I've been told a bunch of times that I need to check out St. Kitts by a lot of you guys. So we got that one as well. And we got to start it off right. St. Journey Fragrances, Lido Life. So this is very bright citric and green, herbaceously green, still tropical. Has the coconut rum feel with a lot of herbs and fresh greens. A little bit of spice. Very beautiful. Still has that tropical tropical feel to it, but a very green tropical feel. Beautiful stuff. If you haven't tried anything from Scent Journey Fragrances yet, you're really missing out. They got two new fragrances coming I'm very excited for. When summer starts to roll around more, that's when I'm going to start to pull out cocktails and catamarans, which is the best of the house, in my opinion. All genres, Bops. What's going on? Spice Bomb Infrared. What's going on, Spencer? Dioron 2020. Guilty pleasure. I don't care when anyone says it. It's grown on me. I'm going to get a bottle later this month. Actually, in the the fragrance buy order I'm going to make where I pick up the uh, the bottle of Dior Homme Sport 2021 that's going to be in the designer giveaway for the all-star tier and above for the channel membership, I'm going to pick up a 50 ml of Dior Homme 2020, as well as a bottle of Dior Homme Sport for myself. So I'm, I'm buying two 75 mLs, one to raffle off to you guys in a giveaway and one for myself. I've been meaning to get a bottle of it since last year. Uh, my decant's empty, so I'm going to get myself a bottle too. What's going on, Noah? How are you? I'm doing well. This live's about to slap. Cheap's fragrance, cheap fragrance vids are always an entertaining watch. I appreciate that, Dilly. I'm doing well. 212 VIP. I've never tried that one. Control, good to see you. Bahara King. I've heard good things. St. Kitts is good stuff. I've heard it's kind of like Mano Fresh, like their take on Mano Fresh. So we'll see. Send a day Sony Wave. I, I wish he would. He told me when he made Shameless, he said that's about as fresh as it's going to get for him. Garlic Mist and Shameless, the last time we talked about it, which was over a year ago, he said that's the freshest it'll ever get for him because he's not a freshy guy. He doesn't make fragrances that he doesn't want to wear himself. So I don't know. Maybe one day we can twist his arm to do a, a tr an aquatic, but I'd love to see it. I'd love a Happy Land aquatic, but that's up to him. He likes the darker stuff, you know. Joel, good to see you. Wearing Invictus. Azaro Sport. This frag has become a regular in my doing errands rotation. Love the herbaceous quality it has with lavender and clary sage. All thanks to your video on it with, with the emoji. I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Super excited to hear your thoughts on Tommy B's. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan. So people complain about the performance and their eau de colognes. Their eau de colognes by design. It's purposeful. It's for the freshness. The lighter the oil concentration, the fresher the fragrance. That's why a lot of the Aqua de Parma Colonia flankers are eau de cologne. It's for the freshness. It's for a very specific experience with your fragrance. It's not to give you eight hours. These are not meant to be eight-hour fragrances. If you get eight hours of longevity on your skin with these, you have phenomenal skin chemistry for these fresher oils. So, because you, if you look on on forums and stuff like that, Troll Grants, all that, you'll see people just bitch and bitch and bitch. Not really bitching, but complaining about performance. You need to understand what you're going into with these fragrances. You're not going to get a bunch of performance. There are situations where you get like six hours. St. Bart's and Tommy Bahama for men. I get every bit of six hours out of those. Now, it's not crazy strong for six hours, but a little bit better than a skin scent for six hours. For with an eau de cologne, that's impressive. So, there's off 40 knots. I have it on the rotation table. The one that had to grow on me was not an instant love. 10-4. Gian, good to see you. Paris Hilton from him. Good stuff. Found it early today on clearance for $9. That's hard to beat. Hugo Reflective Edition. Spice Bomb Game. What's going on, Rocky? Good to see you. Aloha. Since today is Lamar. That's an excellent choice. That's the best of the house, in my opinion. Gorse. The one that's a beach life. Go figure you're wearing something Virgin Island water. So, funny thing. Yesterday's live, I think, is what it was. Yeah. I mentioned how 
even at discounters, Virgin Island Waters, like it was like 296 and it was only in stock for a few days at Fragrance Buy. My friend Hillary, who you guys have seen on the live streams with me, messages me after. She's like, look, when Yara came over a while back, like when Yara first moved in, she had 120 ml bottle. She's like, so I have a 50 ml with like 35 to 40 ml that I'll sell to you if you're interested. So she's a great price. I'm not going to disclose what the price is, but great price. I'm going to scoop that up from her uh, towards the end of the month. So 35 to 40 ml. I'll may, I mean, it's going to take me a long time to go through it. I, I do like that scent. I will go through it, but it's going to take me a long, long time. So I'm going to have a 50 ml bottle mostly full i would say like 75 percent full roughly of virgin island water at the end of the month so that's pretty excited so the reason i say that because for those of you who don't know gorse by laboratory perfumes is basically a take on creed virgin island water the hands on my arms hands yesterday all four grecian grottos yes the sunset so the only one i'm not really much of a fan of is grecian grotto the other three are fantastic Lido life's my second favorite cocktails and catamarans is my absolute favorite see that's the sunset's interesting though very fruity strawberry oriented it's very good um but i do like this and of course cocktails and catamarans much more maritime deep blue is a plus i agree it's basically the scent profile of polo blue eau de parfum without the performance it's like fresher it's the same scent profile but it's got the freshness of polo blue edt because polo blue edt is fresher than polo blue edp i've done a full review on it it's it's amazing it's the best one for sure. 10-4. 4 I've never smelled it. It's always, it's not that easy to find. I see it on eBay from time to time. Uh, see, there we go. Talking about better performance. I, I don't know. Just enjoy St. Bart's, man. Just refresh. Spray it again. <laughs> that's, that's the ultimate resolution. Just spray it again. Does Hinterland smell anything like Ideal Cologne? No, I, I don't find it really does at all. I've been a little while since I wore it, but I don't recall it smelling like that. Germany, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Bane with the random emoji. Milan Lom Ideal Sport underrated. I believe it's discontinued now as well. Uh, do me a quick favor, guys. we got half the likes to viewers as we're starting to build the audience. Because midday, we might not have much of a crowd. It's 1.39 p.m. Mountain Time, 2.39 Central. M this might be the biggest crowd we're going to have for this time frame. But I appreciate all of you that are able to be here. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up if you don't mind. Dominique, good to see you. Hugo Reverse, that's good stuff. Profondo is very good stuff. Watching you in school instead of paying attention to my physics class. Kentrell, I appreciate that, man. Anyone else sad about having to put away the... I, I'm happy about it. I'm ready for freshies. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. Oud Lemon Mint, excellent. David, good to see you. One million lucky. I shall be first instinct together. Always look forward to... It. Yeah, I, I get tired. Look, I like the heavy stuff. Don't get me wrong. Appreciate you, Andre. I like the heavy stuff. Don't get me wrong, but it gets old, man. I'm ready for my freshies. At my core, I like freshies more. Didn't mean to rhyme. It just kind of shook out that way. Let's bust these open. We're going to try St. Kitts first. So I've even, I've looked at the notes on the women's. One. I think I'm going to get the women's version of St. Kitts as well. I think that's one I would like. Let me just pull the wrappers off of both of them real quick so y'all don't have to go through hearing this twice in two different times. So, Tommy Bahama, St. Kitts. I have Very Cool. I have Martinique. I have St. Bart's. And that's the only ones I have of this bottle, this bottle style. Well, I can see a lot of stuff sticking to this. It's got a rubberized feel to it. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Rubberized feel. Has the palm tree in the back. So, obviously, it's just two fragrances. We are definitely going directly on skin. We'll cross-reference to the notes in just a minute. I've seen the notes. I don't remember them specifically. That doesn't immediately remind me of Mano Fresh. Maybe a little bit. Well, it's very fruity and sweet and fresh. Ooh, yeah, that smells really good. That smells really, really good. This is better than Very Cool and better than Martinique. I'm not going to dethrone St. Bart's in this line. It's going to take a lot to dethrone St. Bart's for me. I feel like this has a coconut feel, to, like 
type of smell. I don't know if co I don't remember if coconuts in here. It's citric, but a little sour, but not like bad. Not like sour skittle, kind of sour. This is fantastic. Hmm. Noah, welcome to the Hall of Fame upgrade, my man. You'll be eligible for the niche giveaway this month. I felt the with the niche giveaway, I had to start it off with um with Evening Mystique to christen it because I set the parameters at a minimum of 12. We're almost there. You're number nine. But counting the super fan tier, we're at 12, technically. So because that counts too. So it's technically you just made it to the made us hit the minimum technically. Because like I said, the super fan tier, they're eligible for the Hall of Fame giveaway too. So I appreciate you. Welcome. Good luck. It's you're gonna have a really good chance to win. Granted, it's the last weekend of the month. We're doing it. But I don't know. I, I don't see the odds getting too difficult. Like, especially the first month, everybody's going to have a pretty good chance of winning. We're going to do a live. It'll be a live stream. All members are invited, even the ones that aren't eligible for the giveaways. And we'll do a live wheel spin. Um, one of the apps. I'll put everybody's name on there. For, and we'll have two spins for the two different giveaways. It's going to be a good time. It won't be a long stream, maybe 30, 45 minutes. This is very tropical, fruity, sweet but still super fresh at the same time. This is this is better than very cool. It's not as aquatic as Set Sail Martinique. I get more of a marine saltwater type of vibe from that one. But this is more fruity drink cocktail, but I don't necessarily get a lot of booze from it like I do like the te tequila note in St. Bart's. You very well could. You're going to have a really good chance where it stands right now. There's only 12 people in that drawing. Granted, we're... On the 9th, that giveaway is not happening till either the 27th or the 28th. I'm not sure yet. So there's a couple of weeks from now. So I'm sure we'll get some more people in the drawing, but I doubt it'll double. I doubt you'll have, you know, 23 or 24 people to, to be against right now, maybe eventually. But we'll expand it as we get more and more members, more and more funds go into the pool. I won't just expand the, the price of the fragrance we're giving away. I'm going to expand how many winners. Like I, once we double what the minimum is, I'll probably do two giveaways. You know what I mean? And so on. If we triple it, we'll go to three giveaways. That way more people have more opportunities. There's going to be multiple wheel spins. If you win, your name comes off the wheel. We'll spin it again for the next round. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a really good format. I think everybody's going to have some fun with this. We're going to cross-reference this. Let me do a screen share, which I have not set up yet. Let me do that real quick. Share screen. Here we go. All right. Let's see what kind of notes we're working with. Very tropical fruity is what I'm getting from this. St. Kitts for men. So aquatic, citrus, woody, fresh, fruity. So kefir, lime, mandarin, orange, and star fruit. That's why it's a little sour. Okay. It's got carambola in it. That explains the tie into Versace Mano Fresh, but I don't get a whole lot of Versace Mano Fresh here, even though it's got the star fruit note. Heart notes of aquatic notes, cedar and sea salt. It's very salty. I agree with that. Uh, ambergris, that adds to the saltiness. Driftwood, that can add to the saltiness. And musk. So very aquatic, very beautiful. This is, this is really good. There's an argument for this being the best one. It's, I, I'm sure it's a toss-up for people between this and St. Bart's. But this is really, really good. Really good. I am impressed. Yeah, they're great in the high heat. That's what I'm saying. They were built to be this way. When people complain about the performance, I giggle because it's like the, the house is designed. It's an island-themed, relaxing vibe brand. Not just the fragrances, the whole brand. That's what Tommy Bahama is. So, of course, their fragrances match the vibe and the theme and the way they market. So it's not about getting a bunch of longevity or being real loud or get, being attention grabbers. It's that island life, that laid-back vacation vibe. Their scents really capture that. Oh, this is fantastic. They're, like I said, I'm probably going to do a full review at some point. I, I have so many that are in line right now. This is this would be a summer review, so I'm, it's not anytime soon. It's probably two months from now at best um, because that's when I'm going to be reaching for stuff like this more. But there's an argument for this being better than St. Bart's. What question? I don't know what you're talking about. Because you're asking if you're asking your dumb questions, 
No, I asked you, I asked you to retype it before I ended it and you didn't. <laughs> so that's on you. <laughs> that's on you, Bane. Yeah. Save, save your thought provoking has nothing to do with fragrance questions for, for after we do the fragrances, Bane. <laughs> Glad you're here, man. Uh, I can't recommend only one fresh fragrance. That's just impossible for me to do. I have so many good ones. I'll tell you what, this one's a good one for sure. It's, it's easy to tell you this because I'm in the moment smelling it and it's awesome. Very salty and fruity. Salty, fruity, and a little sour citrus. Love St. Bart's. Great vacation fragrance. Totally agree, James. Totally agree. Hidden Gems, what's going on, big dog? Glad you made it. First time comment from Ireland. I sure did. I sure did. So I've been knowing about it for almost two months. Couldn't say anything because I was waiting on either iFragrance to drop info or Roger Parfums themselves to drop it. So both dropped the info. So I'm able to talk about it now. My understanding, it's going to be a more woodsy take on Elysium. I 100% absolutely want a bottle. I literally commented on one of the brand's posts today that it's got some big shoes to fill following a to be a follow-up release after Isola Blue, because Isola Blue is so damn good. Oh, this is fantastic. So we're going to quit the screen share. We'll give it a rating in just a little bit, but this is even better than I hoped for. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet because it's a fruitiness. It was really good. Very, very good. But NFT Banksy, I'm super excited for it, my man. It's one of those times I wish I was home to spray with you at the same time. Yeah, 10-4. I'm doing well, my man. City Rhythm, Miami, or Caribbean Island. Ooh, I would have to go with Miami over Caribbean Island. Caribbean Island is very rich and boozy. Um, it's very, very warm. It's more robust. Uh, it's a much warmer, boozier take on Virgin Island water. It's really good, but it's so warm that I think it's more evening appropriate, whereas Miami, I'm assuming you mean tropical seduction, not the new one. Uh, but I would take both versions of, of Miami over Caribbean Island, both Tropical Seduction and Tropical Confessions. Went to Hawaii about a month ago and went to a Tommy Bahama store and bought Deep Blue and Maritime Journey. They're solid for the price. I agree. I agree. You can get them really cheap online, too. This was like 20 bucks, 21 bucks, something like that. I did retype it, but you didn't answer it. Did you do it after I signed off the stream? <laughs> Just grab the sample of Evening Mystique. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Jonathan, I hope you enjoy it. Good to see you, my man. And your Bane asking in his Bane voice. Yeah, there you go. Since we're on the topic of summer fragrances, can you recommend a summer fragrance that has a fall-winter quality to it? It sticks to a summer DNA. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Tropical Wood from Montal. Cause it's oud heavy, but it's got passion fruit and it's just very tropical as the name would indicate, but still has an oud funkiness to it. And it's a monster. You don't need, but two sprays. I'm going to go with Montal tropical wood. Sony wave. One of the best cheap summer fragrances. I agree, Mohammed. I agree completely. I was going to go ahead and blind buy a couple of times in Bahamas since online the other day they're most definitely cheaply priced yeah and you get 4.2 ounces on most of them this is 100 ml maritime's 125 which we're going to go ahead and dive into here in just a second you say the scent is neck and neck yeah for sure it, it surprised me how much i do like it upon first sniff like i figured i'd like it i've never smelled a tommy bahama fragrance that wasn't pretty nice you know but this this kind of climbs the ladder quickly it's definitely up there. I think so. No, I haven't tried it. Uh, SA stands for Sammy Andrus. He's a an Hispanic fragrance reviewer who has his own fragrances. Only dumb answers. There you go. RXL, I'm an official fragrance influencer. I smelled once of that fragrance and now I'm ready to review it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I, I look forward to the video, Rick. I look forward to it for sure. <clears throat> What's your opinion about our moth niche sapphire? Uh, it's not close to Hawass. It is more of a carbon copy of Invictus Aqua 2016. Hawass is more so its own thing. It smells more like the original Invictus. Don't let people fool you in thinking Invictus Aqua 2016. It's more sweet aquatic. 
than Invictus Aqua 2016. It's more like the original Invictus with spices. Um, ne Armoff Niche Sapphire is definitely more of Invictus Aqua 2016. It's pretty much the same fragrance. It smells the same to me. I did a full review on it if you want to hear a little bit further. Just type in TLTG in the name of the fragrance. The video will pop up, my man. Let's see. All genres, Bob's. Nick, good to see you. Parfum clone smells similar to Aventus. No. Just like everybody says, well, not everybody, but there's people that say Sidrap Waze from Mancera smells like Aventus. No. No, they don't. They fit a vibe. They can do the same job. Um, you know, I've never once, like Elysium Parfum Cologne, for example, I've never once smelled Aventus and thought, wow, this is bright, fresh, metallic citrus. But boy, that sure is what Elysium Parfum Cologne is. <laughs> it's uh, They are not the same. Very, very, very slight tie-ins to the scent profile, uh, but they're much more, much further apart from being relatable than they are being the same scent. Um, definitely check that out for yourself to be sure, because um, there's crazy people that are going to see this. They're going to say, oh, he's nuts. It smells the same. No, <laughs> no, it does not. But at the end of the day, it may smell similar to you. I just speak from my own personal experience and a lot of people will refute that, but there is, there's, I mean, there's 8 billion people in the world. Not everybody's going to agree on that. You know what I mean? But if you try them for yourself, I'm, I'm pretty much willing to bet here that you're going to be like, you're going to agree with me and not with any of the stuff that you read to make you ask that question. And personally, I think Elysium smells better, but Aventus performs better. So it depends on which more important to you. And Elysium Parfum Clone is definitely better for the warm weather, whereas Aventus is not as good in the warm weather because it's got rich florals and smokiness and stuff like that. Lewis, good to see you. Dropping a like. I appreciate that, man. Love the shirt. Simple yet super clean. Yeah, we went on the hike. It's a UPF 50, so it reflects the heat and sunlight a little bit. Um, I've been doing some tanning. I'm... I'm Skin's pretty red, so I kind of wanted to. I did five minutes in the tanning bed yesterday, which for my fair complexion, you can see I'm kind of red. That's a lot for me. So uh not going to tan for another four days or so. So I wanted to keep most of my skin out of the sun while we went on that hike today. But it was a good time. Yeah, it was before the live end. That's okay. I'm sure it wasn't that important, Bane. It had nothing to do with fragrance on my fragrance channel <laughs> or fitness. Fragrance and fitness, that's pretty much what's important to me. Ben Diesel, my man, just got solely detally. So I keep getting fussed that it's detally and not detally. I don't care. I'm going to say it either way. And it's absolutely amazing. I agree, man. Fantastic. It's it's one of the best fresh niche fragrances I've smelled in a long time. 4 p.m. Mountain. Yep. So that's Justin confirming for tomorrow. Yes, sir. Live as we speak. <laughs> All right. So back to this. But yeah, it's a fantastic fragrance. It is, but it's way more pina colada. It's actually got a pina colada accord with a bunch of coconut, thick and creamy. And it's got some ambroxan, a lot of citruses and fruits, watermelon, stuff like that. It's better than Virgin Island water. I think. I think when it comes to tropical fragrances, it's, it's on the Mount Rushmore for me. And Anybody that tries it, you'll understand where I'm coming from. It'll choke you. It's so strong. You don't need many sprays of cocktails and catamarans. It's absurdly powerful. It does have the same vibe as Virgin Island Water, but there are there are differences. A lot of similarities, but there's there's plenty of differences too. Uh, it's the same vibe and style without being the exact same fragrance, but it's way 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 stronger. I mean, night and day difference in power. Here for a minute. Noir since growing on me. Sauvage and Aventus are the only fragrances that matter. Everything else is trash. <laughs> With the head yelling emoji. Yeah, sure. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> we'll go with that. But they do smell the same. My favorite part of Aventus is that leather note. Aventus is known for leather. Oh, wait. Gotta love Rick. Gotta love Rick. Because, yeah, it's, look, you'll hear people say that leathery accord, and there's versions of, like, other brands DNA that take that DNA and make their twist. That is leathery. I've never understood the leathery smell people get from Aventus. Now 
I haven't smelled every batch of Aventus, like the 2010 to early teens, like say 2010 to 2015. I had never smelled any of those batches. I've smelled some from 2016 and 2018. Mine's a 19 S11. I've smelled a 2020, one of the 2020 batches. None of them, none of the ones I've smelled have ever smelled like leather to me or had a leather accord. Not saying the old beast mode ones didn't, but I've never understood that either, Rick. I've never gotten the whole leather tie-in that people talk about. I, I don't get it personally. Maybe it, maybe I'm just not smelling it. Everybody interprets things differently, but I damn sure have never gotten any 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 Aventus I've smelled. Now, like I said before, other brands that did their version of Aventus, I've smelled leather and other ones for sure, because there's actually they they put a leather accord in the breakdown. Not bad, super synthetic, but it's meant to be a mass appealing fragrance. I'm on staycation. And that's why I'm able to be in an early alive. Well, I'm glad you're here, Joel. Okay. Scroll down a bit because I want to get into this next one. I don't want to be too far behind on the comments. Genre Parfums. Yeah, Genre Parfums is great. Uh, RAMC is my favorite from Devin. It's beautiful. Man, keep it up with the live streams. What's going on, CJ? How are you? Vin Diesel, today's my birthday, so I just picked up a few frags today. What do you think about Mercedes-Benz Select Night and Invictus Victory? I don't have either one, but happy birthday. Uh, Victory's okay. I, I, I need to revisit it. I've only smelled it one time on skin at Sephora like a year and a half ago, maybe a little longer than that, maybe closer to two years ago, uh, and it didn't impress me to where I just I didn't revisit it. I would like to revisit it this year for sure. Um but as far as Mercedes Benz Select Night, I've had a bunch of people tell me I need to get that one. I, I just haven't gotten around to it, man. I've heard it's on the spicier side. But most importantly, happy birthday. I'm glad you could share a little bit of your birthday with us. Let's see. I sprayed that Lush Cherry with Zaharoff Leather tobacco and got a better, stronger ombre leather. That sweet strawberry made it simply sweet yet masculine all at once. I could see tying something very fruity into that making like this monster megazord of a fragrance you know what i mean um i bet i bet if you go with some sweeter stuff tying into that because it's so spicy and rough that uh yeah you could probably make some interesting layering combos with that fragrance i meant this had a leather leather note newer batches would definitely be more interesting fragrance i agree i agree catching live stream while at work wearing wadi yuzu from carl lagerfeld josh welcome glad to see you Bane, I don't know what's wrong with you. I feel like something's off. Let's see, Ross got 100 ml of Aventus for 260 on Aura. Yeah, the Aura's legit. Or that's actually a pretty good price for Aventus. Temper expectations on performance. Everybody on the internet swears up and down that they don't last anymore. I don't know. I can't verify. Like I said, mine's my bottle's uh four years old at this point. So all right, now let's get into this next one. Duck, good to see you. Tropicals like city. Uh, it's it's even more tropical than that. No, it's not the same. Uh, but it's like I said, it's more of a Virgin Island water type of feel. Pina, it's very pina colada. I don't have enough Tom Fords to really say I have a favorite Tom Ford. I mean, where it stands right now, I'd have to say Ombre Leather. I love that DNA. 10-4. Happy birthday to Ben from all of us, for sure. Well, there you go. Jonathan saying his last a good eight hours. So I just go off a of hearsay with what everybody complains about on the internet because more people complain on the internet than have good things to say, if you'll notice. <clears throat> no, I don't do that at all. I pick a fragrance and I roll with it. That's overcomplicating. I think that's ridiculous and I don't like doing that. I just pick a fragrance and roll with it. And speaking of picking a fragrance and rolling with it, let's jump into maritime, shall we? Part two of why we're here today. You guys are awesome. Thanks for birthday wishes. Thanks for coming hang with us for your birthday, man. You definitely didn't have to do that. I love these bottles. These are some of the best bottles in the game with the cleat on the top with the rope. Very marine nautical theme. So this is the only one I didn't have. The original, go figure, is the one I did not have. So we're going to give it a spray. We'll look at the notes after. I'm sure it's going to have something aquatic about it. They typically do. Um, ooh. Fresh fierce, aquatic fierce, fruity, more fruity fierce, but definitely I get a fierce vibe. 
yeah, kind of Percival Fierce ish, but watery and aquatic. Ooh, this is good. This is better than Maritime Journey. Not better than Deep Blue. I'm not going to say that yet. Out in the, the initial blast reminded me a little bit of like a fresher fierce, but not as much now that it's kind of had a second. A little bit of tie-in, though. I get a little bit of this fresh, spicy tone. It's a little creamy. It's fruity. It's watery. It's very pleasant. I don't know which one I like more between the two. This opening is really, really good. This is really good. This is a fragrance counter type of opening. Some of you heard me say that before because the, fra the fragrance counters at these department stores, that's what they get you on the opening. Very familiar, very light blue. Not Dolce & Gabbana light blue, just light blue, the genre, the style, the fresher blues. It's a little creamy, a little creamy, synthetic, sure, but it's pretty damn good. I don't think it's the best in the line. I do think it's better than the Journey Flanker. I don't think it's better than Triumph, Deep Blue, or Voyage. It's damn good, though. I did a full review on Maritime Journey and Maritime Deep Blue. I'm going this summer, I'm going to work on Maritime Voyage and Maritime Triumph, and then I'll do this one as well. I'll review the entire line, and then I'll do a, a line talk video like I did with Polo Blue and Mont Blanc Legend and which which other ones? Are there? I, Abcrombie and Fitch First Instinct. I've done that with a few of them. <clears throat> Love these dock boat-esque bottles. Yeah, me too. Such a unique look. I manage a supplement store south of Houston, so just sitting here chilling, waiting on peeps to walk in and listen to my favorite frag YouTuber. I appreciate that, Ben. Thank you, man. Sucks you got to work on your birthday. Versace Porum, excellent. Hello from Athens. Have a great day. You do as well. Just picking me the Bane. Yeah, don't take anything personal. We ball bust on here, Bane. <laughs> yeah, don't take anything personal. There's nothing wrong with me. You sure? <laughs> So let's cross-reference these notes, shall we? Add to stream. And let's go with Maritime. There we go. All right. So synthetic. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Woody, aquatic, citrus, and fresh. Lavender. That's probably the creaminess. Lavender, clary, sage. That very well could be what's making it creamy. Bergamot and pink pepper, violet leaf, so that's probably the aquatic because I don't see any watery notes. That's probably what's making it aquatic. Very creamy. Geranium, ambergris, jasmine, water lily. Okay. Musk, sandalwood, cedarwood, moss. Yeah, musky, sure, but not overrun with musk. It's creamy, more than soapy. So seeing the two aromatics, well, there's more than two aromatics because geranium's an aromatic as well. Can be, anyways. It's some pretty good stuff. Pink pepper can be a little aromatic, too. But it's not all that spicy. If anything, the pink pepper is giving it a sweetness. It's really good. It smells super familiar, though. Users who like Maritime often also like Aqua de Joe Profumo, Dolce Gamana, the one EDP, Mont Blanc Individuel, and Aqua de Joe Profondo. Yeah, that's what you think, huh? All righty. Ooh, new releases. Seascape. Didn't know about this. Maybe we're breaking a little news right now because I haven't seen shit about this. St. Bart's Seascape. Bergamot, black pepper, wild sage, elemi, lavender, seaside moss, cedarwood, tonka bean, vetiver. I knew nothing about this. It just caught my eye. I like the bottle, though. I like the color scheme. Oh, that's beautiful. That's an even better shot. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Going to need that. Definitely going to need that. Didn't see that coming. Let's check out the women's release. Bellini, hibiscus and lemon, jasmine, orange blossom, lang lang, Caribbean vetiver, amber and driftwood. That's pretty, too. Might have to get the match and pair for me and the wife. Hmm. Okay, Dan. That, uh, that was unexpected. Just happened to catch my eye over here in the corner. I was like, oh, those look new. 
This is really creamy and aquatic. This is getting better and better. This is super, super pleasant. Easy going, daily wear. Not just casual. This would be a great work fragrance, I think. Oh, I didn't know that, Brent. I didn't know that, Brent. That's the first time I've seen anything about it. <laughs> Which means, reminds me, bottle reminds me, light blue intense. Me too. Me too. That's immediately what I thought as well. So what's going to happen with that one is if it's been out for a little bit, that means it's going to be cheap sooner than later because I'm not paying retail for a Tommy Bahama fragrance. No, no, no. If you wait, you can do better. That's what I did with Maritime Journey and Triumph. I mean, uh, Voyage and Triumph. I waited. Now I got them for 30 something dollars. I'm cool with that. They don't have to be 20. 30 some odd, 30 to $40 range. I'm good with that. That's that's good range. This is really, really good. Let's give them some quick ratings. Just real quick, first impressions ratings. St. Kitts has had a little bit of time to dry down. Still very fruity. The star fruit's pretty much gone. I don't get any sour citrus out of this. It's very fruity. The saltiness has calmed down. It doesn't have so much as a salted, sun-kissed skin type of feel anymore. It's much more watery and aquatic and a little sweet. Now that it's starting to dry down, I don't think it rivals St. Bart's as much as it did in the opening, but it's still very good. I think it's still better than Martinique and very cool. I think it's a very good 7 out of 10. I don't think it deserves more than that. I think that's a really good sweet spot rating for this. 7 out of 10, I think a lot of people would agree with. Some people would want to rate it higher because they're just big fans of it. It's all opinionated. You know what I mean? This is just my opinion on it. Um, potential for that rating to grow or lessen, probably grow, but real good chance it'll stay the same because this summer I'll review it. I'll spend more time with it this summer. I like it, though. I like it quite a bit. And then with Maritime, I actually like this one more. It's a little creamy. It's actually getting a little soft and powdery. It's not as aquatic. The opening was very aquatic and watery, but it's very familiar. It's getting creamy and powdery, and I think that's why I'm kind of really vibing with this one a bit more. This is some really good stuff. And I like this one. This one warrants a half a point better at a 7.5 out of 10. Still very good. Same ballpark rating. Not spectacular. Nothing special. Familiar to where it's been done before. I just can't pinpoint exactly what. But I do like it a little bit more. But overall, they're both solid. They're both solid. 20-some-odd dollar range, low 20s. Hard to beat. Just don't expect a ton of performance out of them. As long as you temper your expectations in performance and enjoy the fragrance for what it is and what it's designed to do, I think you can have a good old time with these. Let's see. St. Bart's sounds like... They smell like F black in the opening, potentially. St. Bart's, regular St. Bart's? Because no, nothing alike. If you're talking about regular old set sale St. Bart's? Definitely not. Let's see. Greg, good to see you. Okay, it's in four. Wise decision, Ross, in getting a frag for your wife. Location works wonders for our easily nasty fragrance. Well, certain ones where I think she might like it. That's the ones I'll grab because she's got more fragrances than she'll ever use. Today, she was wearing my favorite, though. Uh, Big Pony Collection. I forgot which number it is. Let me look real quick. It's the pink bottle. It's the cranberry, sweet cranberry one. I love it. She's got two bottles of it. Um, Big Pony. It is Big Pony number two. So do the screen share. This one. This is like my favorite fragrance for her to wear. I love when she wears it. She wore this to go hiking earlier. See, cranberry floral notes, fruity notes, oriental notes. It is just sweet cranberry. Sweet, a little soft and powdery. Beautiful. She's got 250 mLs. We found it at Nordstrom Rack. She fell, we both fell in love with it at first spray. Went back to Nordstrom Rack and got another bottle while they still had them. It was like 15 bucks a piece for the 50 mLs. So glad I did. So she's got 100 mL of it total. And a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Playful, playfully sweet, good casual fragrance. Um, Smells great, sweet and fruity, without being floral dominant. But that fragrance, that's what she's wearing today. It's gorgeous. Such a thing as purgatory. And really, 
Really, you're trying to be funny right now. I know that's exactly what you're doing because you, of Bane. <laughs> I'm not answering that. Sidrapoise, <laughs> good choice. All the way from Manchester. Good to see you. You hang out, but yeah, he's doing that to be funny. Yeah, see, he's just doing that to be funny. We tried the dark green bottle. Yes, yeah, Cecil Martinique. It's a very uh, saltwater type of smell, even though the notes may lead you to believe otherwise. I've talked about it recently in a video. Um, it's it's actually quite nice. It's great out the shower. It's a great out the shower fragrance. Can't wait to see what Aqua de Gio Parfum smells like. Me as well. I think it smells like I've I've heard it's not exactly the same as Profumo from people, but I'm gonna go off of my own nose when the time comes. Because that note breakdown sure looks the damn same to me. I think people are just wanting it to smell different in their mind. Your mind can do many things, including make you think one thing, when in reality, it's just creating a bias that you want to be there. <clears throat> St. Kitts is odd. It's a weak performer, yes. But after it sat for two years, it seemed to have gotten stronger. Am I crazy? Yeah, maceration might have did it a little good. But, uh, yeah, all of them are, are weak performers. That goes into the rant I gave earlier about people complaining about performance with these Eau de Cologne fragrances from an island, relaxing island fragrance brand. That's They're built to be this way. Short-lived, gorgeous experience that are very beach-themed, you know, carefree life type of feel to them. That's the vibe of the brand. Hope you're good, man. Waiting for the weather to heat up and wear Oceania. Ah, it's a home run of a fragrance right there for sure, my friend. That's good stuff. Let's see. Madison just got better for sensual wore it yesterday. Uh, I find it's a little more fruity than it is citrusy. I don't think it's that close to it. I mean, there's some similarities, but I get a little bit of smokiness from the vetiver too. Ah. I can see where people are coming from with it. I don't think it's identical, but sure, they do the same job. Yeah, Vetiver Sensual lasts longer, too. Boswellio, good to see you. Does Maritime give you a Luna Rosa Ocean vibe? A little bit. It's funny that you say that. A little bit. Not as sweet, but a little bit. That makes sense. Glad you said it. Yeah, a little bit. I like St. Kitts. Very cool. Followed by Martinique. St. Bart's is not my favorite. It smells too much like something I would drink. Well, yeah, it's, it smells like a margarita. That's exactly why you think that. It's it's literally the, the note breakdown is, is to make a margarita, basically. Tequila, salt, lime <laughs> in the opening. Yeah. No, the new one you just saw. Oh, oh, and I don't I don't know. I don't remember the notes now. I already, I already closed it off. Closed off the window. <clears throat> Might have to go out of designers and do Middle Eastern unknown brand fragrances. 10-4. Center of the day is Elysium for work tonight. 10-4. Opinion on C4. I used to use C4 Sport for pre-workout a long time ago, but as far as the drinks, I tried the Spink, Pink Star, Spink, the Pink Starburst one um, two months ago, maybe. It was delicious, but... It's more of a, it's the pre-workout formula. It's not something to just drink later in the day when you just need a little caffeine boost. I like to like cap out at 200 milligrams of caffeine if I'm going to drink one in the afternoon, which is why I like the ghosts. But the C4, the formula is basically a pre-workout. It's for those that don't want to buy a pre-workout. You want a ready-made drink, kind of like buying the pre-made Total War drinks. Same thing. It's pre-workout. So that's something I would only drink prior to going to the gym. But I have so many different pre-workouts. I have three different flavors of Total War. Plus, I still have a little bit left of my Ghost Legend pre-workout. That's uh, the Sonic Ocean Water flavor. I'm going to be sad when that one ends. I've gotten used to that. It's very tropical. A lot of coconut and lime and stuff like that. Speaking of tropical stuff, it's really good. It's really, really good. <clears throat> It'll be an ocean. Pretty sure it's going to be really different. My favorite Polo Blue is Polo Blue Parfum. I have it on the table to wear this weekend. Tomorrow, this now, this is subject to change, but this is how I'm planning the rest of the week anyhow. Um, for starters, every night I've been spraying Trillium. I've been spraying the shit out of Trillium. I love that fragrance. It's weak, but it smells incredible. It's one that I don't mind just continuing to respray to relive over and over. 
Amir Trillium, the Elysium Parfum Cologne. Clone. It's great. Tomorrow I'm planning on wearing Lark Perfumes Memoir. Then Gin Tonic from M. Mikalif, the new release. Then Kenzo Ohm Eau de Toilette. Then Polo Blue Parfum. Now, that rotation is subject to swap out what goes where, but I'm going to wear those next four the next four days. That's my plan. I want to wear those. I absolutely want to wear those. Um, that order is subject to change, but which fragrances is not. I'm looking forward to wearing all of them. Thinking of getting deep blue. So basically, it's polo blue meets Sauvage with some added greenery, mainly cypress note. So if you don't like Sauvage, you probably won't like it because it's a strong and broxing feel to it. It does smell like polo blue and, and Sauvage mixed together. Like I said, with some added green facets. More green than polo blue typically has. Think of the greenery from polo blue EDP, if you smelled that one, how that's much more green than the Eau de Toilette. Kind of that level of green facet with still the aquatic feel. Personally, I love St. Bart's. Me too. Gave my bottle to a sailor, so I need to rebuy. Sean living life was, life was going on, man. Taking a late lunch at my desk. Wearing grapefruit and sage. Excellent. Excellent, excellent choice, man. I'm a big fan of that one. I don't know if St. Kitts itself is not that nice. It's Nevis, and that is the tourist attraction. 10 yeah. Personal favorite with Ultra Blue as a second place. I mean, you really can't go wrong with any version of Polo Blue. Literally none of them. They're, they're all great. Ultra Blue is phenomenal for super high heat. When you can be outdoors and it's hot as hell outside, that's the one I would choose for sure. Yeah, they ran out. They ran out. So the hundred ml, the hundred twenty ml is like eighty one. I looked last night because it was the sixty ml was forty four bucks. I had been promoting it pretty heavily. I'd like to take a little bit of credit for that selling out because <laughs> I was promoting like, hey, guys, forty four bucks. I mean, it's a straight up cheapy price point, and sixty ml goes a long way with that fragrance. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, it's gonna be between. Le Fleurs du Golf Coco du Yemen for me, which is an amber vanilla coconut. It's gorgeous. Um, or cocktails and catamarans from Scent Journey Fragrance. And then there's also uh, Le Beau Le Parfum I would put up there as well from Jean-Paul Gaultier. I think that's an easy and really solid yet somewhat diverse coconut style. Top three. Because none of the three of them smell alike to one another. The most playful is going to be cocktails and catamarans. The sweetest is going to be Le Bola Parfum. And the more evening appropriate is going to be Coco de Yemen. Oh, yeah, I drink them all the time. Uh, my favorite is the Kool-Aid one, as well as ba the Baja Burst, the one that kind of smells like Baja Blast. I mean, smells like, tastes like. Um, those are my two favorites. Uh, the Smarties, I had Smarties yesterday because my gym sells them. I catch one on the way out. <laughs> I, I bring that to Chipotle with me. I have a rise. I, I had the Sunny D one the day before, but I have a rise with my my bowl at Chipotle. That's my usual, typical post-workout. Uh, technically, the first I ever had or the first that really started the journey, I would say Tommy Cologne's the one that started the journey when I was a kid. Explore Ultra Blue. Yeah. It's okay. Watch my review. You'll understand. It's okay. It's very, very synthetic opening. Dry down's nice. Opening's not, I'm not a big fan of. I don't know if Rick's still here. I know Rick likes it. Uh, like a year ago, I think. We've had him for a while. Deep Blue's amazing. We'll hang out for a few more minutes, guys. No worries, mate. I love the coconutties. Yeah, the co coconut fragrances are good, man. They've grown on me a lot. Made a mistake. I got gold blend instead of deep blue at discount. Blonde by gold blend. Not, not bad, but not my thing. So before the parfum came out, that was my favorite. And, but I could see why it might not be your favorite. Because if you're going for a polo blue vibe, it's the least polo blue of the polo blues. Reason being, it's very dark. It's very incense heavy, ambery. Uh, it's more of an evening polo blue, really. But it's 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 awesome, but if it's not what you were looking for, I could see where you'd be like, yeah, it's good, but not my thing. I, I totally get that answer because uh, you're going into it looking for because all the other versions are freshies, whereas that's the only one that still has freshness, but it's not a freshie at all. 
like not at its core. I don't, I don't mean to say at all because it has freshness. I can't, I can't say at all, but it's the least fresh of the group. Yeah, Lebeau Le Parfum is amazing. Look, Lebeau EDT is phenomenal, but I do like the Le Parfum a little bit more. Um, I'm going to do a coconut video, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to – I don't know if it's going to be a 15, a 20. It's going to be more than 10. It's either going to be a 15 or a 20 list. I'm going to do that when summer hits. I'm not doing it yet because it's still spring. And then uh, tropical vacation fragrances. I'm waiting for the beginning of summer to do that one too. Plus, I'm waiting to see what their two new releases are going to be like because – could be one that knocks cocktails and catamarans out of that video because last year I did the video and cocktails and catamarans was in there and it's gonna be in there again unless one of the new two new releases from the house can top it. I haven't looked into the two, two new house the two new fragrances. I know they're coming. They're not out yet. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm all about the coconut fragrances and the tropical fragrances. I'm on a mango kick right now too. By often different smell fragrances. Do you guys feel that a lot of them are kind of the same as hard? There's stuff out there. Um, I like to try the variety. I don't mind redundancy on certain things. When it's stuff I don't have a ton of, the same thing over and over. I don't mind certain levels of redundancy. Uh, but it's the reviewer at my core that I just want to talk about them. I want to see and compare. And I like to challenge myself and uh, develop my palate more and more to be able to pick out things because um, it's a, the seasoning of the nose. You know what I mean? The more you smell, the better you can get at picking out certain things and detecting certain things and seeing how certain notes can create certain accords when put together and the way balance, the balancing can come off. It's just, it's an ever never ending education. That's why I enjoy uh, getting so much, even though finding something different isn't always the easiest, but I do find different things from time to time. I've been saving these last few sprays of Joe Love Mango Thai Lime, uh, 21 day processing time. I had emailed them like, Hey, am I going to get tracking info? It's been two weeks because they're overseas. It's Joe Malone's side brand, Joe Love. And uh, I got an email from them. They told me about the processing time. It's coming in Thursday. Finally, they, they emailed me the tracking. Um, takes time for the U.S. when you order to come to the U.S. But this is such a good mango tropical fragrance that gets heat on the Internet. If you read like Drograntica, sometimes they get heat from it. Oh, it's synthetic. It's this, it's that. It's phenomenal. I, I didn't hesitate. I paid $155. Um, no discount, no nothing for 100 ml of it. Super excited for it to come in. It will be in my tropical fragrance video. I'm going to wear the shit out of this this summer. Like I said, I'm just preserving these last few sprays. This is one of the decants Hills and Yara had sent me for those live streams we did. <clears throat> Speaking of stuff that I come across that's not always the same, like something a little different, that's a little different. Very green, ripe mango smell. Beautiful. Zesty. Ross, do you remember which Tommy fragrance was like a frosted glass bottle? It was released around, oh, God, that long ago? No, I don't know. That's too far back of a reach, man. Nothing comes to mind. Sucker for Sunny D. Yeah, it's, it's basically carbonated Sunny D. It's really good. Rise has some good flavors, just like Ghost does. This, this and Sour Green Apple Warheads are my two favorite flavors from them. So the Circle K up the street from my apartments, they've been out of this one for a while. I happened to stop after our hike to see, and it's actually the only one they had on the shelf. I was like, oh, I haven't had this in weeks. I love Sour Watermelon. Haven't had it in like literally three weeks. Like I said, it's one of my two favorites from them. Vintage Tommy from 2000s, 10-4. Coconut Nanas. I've never tried that one. I've heard so many good things about it from Rirana. I'd like to get my nose on it too. You have them both. But hey, look, you're preaching to the choir, man. I've got a bunch of fragrances I've bought recently that I haven't spent time with. Like a... Uh, I just wore Gucci Guilty Pour Homme O the other day for the first time. The cologne I haven't wore yet. Mercedes Infinite Spicy I haven't wore yet. And that's from a haul from weeks and weeks and weeks ago. You know, I just have so much. I'm constantly trying new things and talking about it and doing live streams and videos and the usual formats every week. Like I'm always doing something on the channel, but I'll get to them eventually. This is why I buy a season ahead. Like I'm buying summer stuff right now. And when summer rolls around, I'll be buying stuff for fall. So, I'm, so when the time rolls around, I'm getting around to testing them so the reviews can come out 
as they're seasonally appropriate. Let's see me scroll down a little bit. Got to run. University finals, pulling 12 hours of work. Enjoy your day. I appreciate you, Noah. Thank you so much for being here, my man. Unavs in the house, MFK 724. Still considering French Riviera, but now I'm interested in Yuzu, Fabulous Yuzu. And I think it was Sicily, whichever one was the worst, was the workhorse. Oh, the one that the workhorse, I think you meant the one I thought was most work appropriate was Melody of the, of the Sun. He's talking, for those of you that haven't seen, he's talking about yesterday's Mancera Montal Summer Hall. Um, Melody of the Sun, I think, is the most versatile of all of the, all six that I, I opened yesterday. But French Riviera is very relaxing. Fabulous Yuzu is sweet and delectable. Lemon bars, somebody said lemon pound cake. Yeah, very much. Lemon bread, stuff like that. Much more delectable than I thought it would be. And Sicily was just such a banger. It is floral at its core, kind of like how so, so Blue is. Um, if you don't like florals in your freshies, guys, you, you won't like those. But if you do like florals, a good fresh floral summer aquatic that's full of citrus, Sicily, the hype's legit on that one. And then So Blue, it's better than people give it credit for. Beautiful, fresh Turkish rose with a bunch of citrus and watery and soft and powdery. I'm probably going to test that one sooner than later. That's going to be one of the first Manceras. I I'm working on Better Sensual right now, but because it's very appropriate for spring. But the summer ones, I got a bunch of Manceras to do for, for summer now. I'm excited about it. Most oriental blue. Yeah, for sure. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. If such thing as kind of a polo blue with a Middle Eastern touch, that's about as close as it gets, I guess. Do see if and when you do the coconut vid. I will definitely. Low Ibiza. Okay. You'll be very pleasantly surprised. Noted. Okay. Asking Joe. It's a good mango fragrance. Uh, definitely mango tie lime from Joe Love. That's my favorite mango right now. Absolutely my favorite mango. And a blast from the past would be Polo Double Black or Polo Black. You don't hear anybody talk about those. That's good stuff. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Here it is. The king of the super chat has arrived. I wasn't sure if we were going to see him today because we're early today. Well, Candice, my main man, what's going on? Wearing wave musk again. That's good stuff, man. That's um, It's hard to take the crown from that one for my favorite freshie from Mancera. It's going to be hard. I got a bunch that can compete with it now. I just haven't spent time with them the way I've spent time with Wave Musk. Um, so, and I will be doing probably a five or a seven in the summer. Best hot weather or warm weather fragrances from Mancera because I want to compile as many of them as I can and weed out what's the best of them, which all of them are going to be good, but what's the best of them and do that video at some point too. That's part of the reason I've been getting them and to do the individual reviews. And I've been wanting to get these anyway. Uh, but thank you so much for the $10 super chat. My man, you're always appreciated. It's great to see you. I'm glad you're able to make it. We're going to shut it down here in just a second. No, I, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it, my man. I think it was Tommy Freedom. I don't remember. Jasada Ambassador is basically Mango Savage, noted. Kaboom, guess who stepped in the room? Volcanoes in the house. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Joe's tried it. There you go. We're close to the same age, so I wasn't sure if you could remember. That's the one that started off my fragrance journey. Okay, noted. Yeah, for me, it's when I was a kid. The first fragrance I ever, like, seeked out and wanted my parents to get me for Christmas was Tommy back in fifth grade. That's how long I've really been into fragrances. I had polo green back then. I used to wear school dances. So we had them every Friday back then in elementary and middle school. We had them every Friday. <clears throat> it was a uh, good times and Nautica classic, Nautica competition, Nautica classic when it was just called Nautica, Nautica competition, um, Chrome curve. It was, we were into all of those Aspen, Aspen discovery. You know, which I have several bottles, long discontinued. I have several bottles, though. I appreciate that, Jay Sims. Thank you, man. Ocean Noir. Okay. Creed should rebrand their fragrances, come out with flankers. Only flanker they have is Aventus Cologne. I believe they're working on an Aventus Parfum. Yeah, I've heard that, too. And others like Virgin Island Water x Straight. Mm, that'd be interesting. Ooh, I've been wanting better for sensual. Yeah, I wore it yesterday. I'm working on it right now. It's going to be probably another 
I would say maybe next week at the earliest I'll be ready to review it. I just started really testing it. So I got to spend some more time with it. Man, Sarah's getting all my money. They've been getting a lot of money from me lately. <clears throat> Steven, good to see you. Uh, I was kind of lukewarm. I have a decan. I only sprayed it once, maybe twice. And it didn't really impress me. The iris in it didn't really impress me. Uh, I like pretty much every other version of Gentleman that I've tried. Started with Tommy, Tommy T, and Aqua de Joe. Just ordered Amethyst. Really curious. That's going to be in tomorrow's video. Doing a Latafa video tomorrow. Spoiler, I'm doing my top five favorite Latafas in my collection. Here's one of the five. You brought it up, so I'm showing it. This is a beautiful, thick, sweet rose. Very raspberry jam, rosy type of smell. Oh, so good. Woodsy, earthy, very sweet. So beautiful. Volcanus with another $10 super chat. Also picked up Invictus Aqua from Perfume Online per your recommendation. That's good stuff, too. That's my favorite fragrance. My favorite fragrance. I don't recommend it that often because it's getting harder to find. It's getting more and more expensive. But, man, I appreciate another super chat, man. Thank you so much. Seriously. Let me try to get where just about at the bottom and read these last few, and then we're going to shut it down. Let's see. Hey, Ross, going to daytime beach party. What scent profile is good? Uh, I would definitely go something tropical and fruity. It doesn't necessarily have to be coconut or pineapple, but something with some kind of exotic fruit, a passion fruit, lychee, something like that where it's sweet but still fresh. That way it's very alluring but also warm weather appropriate, beachy vibe. Coconut's an obvious choice here, but as long as there's kind of a tropical feel, boozy or not, that's the route I would go. Not just aquatic, but something that's tropical. Think exotic fruits, bowl of fruits, something that's fruity, sweet, but still very, very fresh. That's that's the route I would go. So uh, that was the two that got the highest ratings in the video, but I think gun to my head, probably Sicily. Melody of the Sun's more versatile, though. Typically, I would go with the one that's more versatile, but I just really, really liked Sicily the most. It got it was one of the ones that got an eight. Those two got eights. The other ones got sevens and seven point fives. That one was a. Uh, those those both were eights. Those were the two highest rate in the video. So, uh, versatility though, I would go Melody of the Sun. If you're looking for something that's more everyday, I would go that route. But I get more wow, like, holy shit, this smells amazing, out of Sicily for me. It really suits my taste. Spoiler, I bought it because of your view. I appreciate that. Trillium today, been testing Aqua de Joe, Aqua de Parma, sorry, Yuzu, Floral Fruity. Picked up 10-piece sample set, TK Maxx, Fico di Amalfi. I have, so I haven't told you guys, part because I told you guys I bought a ton of fragrances. I have five Aqua de Parma fragrances sitting there that I haven't touched. Three testers. And two full presentation 75 mLs. Fico di Amalfi is one of them. Bergamotto di, di Calabria, that's one of them. Uh, Arancia di Capri, that's one of them. Uh, Myrto di Panerai, I believe is how you say that. That's one of them. And the, I can't remember the fifth one off the top of my head. But I got I bought, I bought some more Aqua de Parmas too. I'm really like stepping up my niche freshy game as you can see with the Manceras, the Montals, Aqua de Parma. Affordable stuff, but good stuff, you know. <clears throat> All right, scrolling down. The new Rosio Elysium. Hope it's better than the original. Um I don't think it'll be better than the Parfum, but then again I haven't smelled it yet. I think it's got a chance to be better than the Parfum Cologne though, because it's supposedly more woodsy. I'm definitely hoping to get a bottle. I mean fingers crossed. Hell, I'm not going. To, I'm not too proud to say or too ashamed to say. I hope they send me a fucking bottle. <laughs> I'm praying. Please send me a bottle. I'm not going to ask them for it. I don't ask them for shit. If they want to send it to me, they'll send it to me. And I've fingers crossed because I would love to get it. I'd love to review it and I'd love to wear the damn thing basically because I really like Elysium a lot. I really enjoy both. I mean, hell, the Parfum Cologne I gave a nine point five in my review. I don't remember what I gave. I mean, the Parfum Porum. I don't remember what rating I gave the Parfum Cologne, but I know it was high because big fan of the scent profile. Gian, I appreciate the super chat. Traveling to London, London rocking Evening Mystique. My man, I appreciate you. So we're going to go ahead and shut it down. Let me get to the bottom of this. There's another house I need to get into. They got such good stuff. 
Uh, the last one I bought from them before I got these five was uh, Colonia Pura, and that's the one to beat. That's my favorite that I've ever smelled from them. A lot of these that I bought, I smelled at a duty-free when I had a stopover in Frankfurt in Germany. I had a layover flight uh, back, you know, back in February when I had traveled to the UK, and uh, that's why I bought all of these. Like, I wanted all of these. They're all good. So, uh, but that's the one to beat for me. Until further notice, my favorite Aqua de Parma fragrance is Colonia Pura. Pura, Pura, however you want to say it. It's, a, it's amazing. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and shut things down. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me for an hour and five minutes. Thank you to everybody for the super chats. Thank you for checking me out. Uh, there's links below if you want to grab these cheap, if you're interested in them. Um, ooh, still very aquatic. St. Kitts is a beautiful smell. But more everyday, creamy, soft, powdery, and spicy with a little bit of a watery tone. I think Tommy Bahama Maritime is slightly better because, like I said before, I typically go with the more versatile everyday wear. That's what this one is. That's usually my answer. But they're both really good cheapies. No two ways about it. So make sure you like this video before you leave. Check out both of today's reviews. I reviewed Arrow's Flame as well as Attorney Cologne. Those are both out. And uh, tomorrow... Top five Latafa fragrances in my collection. You guys have a good one. Oh, and live on Justin's channel, 5 o'clock Central tomorrow. Have a good one, guys.